we just installed a couple things last night, and we just wanted to get out on the field and run through the things that we installed. And I think we did a good job executing what we needed to execute. Now, as you go into the season and, and you start to go into your practices, how do you assess the rest of the team? Right. Um, you know, it's tough to tell right now. Right now we're rolling helmets. Uh, you know, we're looking to see what the freshmen have to offer. And once we slap on the pads, we'll definitely know for sure, uh, you know, who the players are and, uh, and how everyone looks. Well, last year, the offense moved at times, but it struggled at times. Where do you think the area that you had to most improve upon going into this season? And how do you think you've done so far this year in the offseason? Right, well, we need to move the ball into the end zone. Uh, that's the ultimate goal. We can't settle for field goals, and we can't punt the ball as much as we did last year. When we start moving the ball, we need to be able to get touchdowns out of it. Well, you're going into your second he year here at the University of Delaware, and you're with Coach Jim Hoffer, who's his second season as offensive coordinator. What have you guys done to work this offseason to, I guess, to develop your chemistry between the two of you? Right, well, I think it started a lot in the spring. Um, and just being together more, watching film, talking on the field, talking in the film room, uh, you know, you kind of gain a little bit more trust and, and you're able to talk to coach about, uh, you know, what if we try this? And, and you're just able to put in more input to, uh, to the offense. As you prepare for tomorrow's practice, what's the goal going into each day's practice? Right, just to get better each and every day, um, get, get, it, get better and focus on the little things. Well, Pat Devlin, thanks for spending time with us here at WHYY. Good luck this upcoming season. Thank you very much. I'm here with Ty Grant, University of Delaware senior captain on the defense. Uh, Ty, this is your fourth year, and you've paid, played all four years here at the University of Delaware. What can you tell me about going into this 2010 season as your, your goal? Going into the season, we got a, a high expectation uh, on offense and defense. You know, we got Pat at quarterback coming back for a second year, and uh, we got a lot of experienced guys on defense. So we're definitely looking forward to having a great year. You know, we got a lot of leaders on both sides of the ball, and everyone ready to get after it. Uh, like I said, this is your fourth year, and each year you've had to improve. What area do you think you're going to have to improve upon to make this team better and yourself better? Lead more by example. You know, I'm not a rah-rah guy. You know, I try to lead more by example. And, uh, you know, and, and as far as working on drills and things like that and, and personal things, uh, I would say my feet work. And uh, just trying to, I mean, my speed is there, but, you know, it's, it's, it never hurts to get a little bit faster. So. Well, you know, going into the season, we hate to compare teams against other teams, but you had the fortune of playing on the 2007 team. Mm -hmm. How would you compare this team against that team, and what do you think the outlook is for this team going forward? Uh, this team compared to the 2017, it has a lot of similarities. I would say the biggest one is uh, the leadership. You know, 2007 had a lot of guys like Mike Byrne, uh, Joe Flacco, Omar Cuff, those guys, you know, good guys to follow and uh, they, they, they definitely led by example on this team we got a whole lot of leaders you know we got Matt Mackerel leading the linebackers and we have a very experienced secondary and also on the offensive side of the ball we got guys like Phil Thaxton and Mark Mackey and uh, receiver co receiving core that are also leading by example and uh, you know just to have older guys on the team is always a positive and just you know as long as we play together we'll be we'll be fine. I know they talk about the CAA football and they talk about how it's one of the toughest uh, conferences in FCS football you played against a lot of the teams that you're going to go against this year. What is it that you think is going to make you uh, as competitive or not better than those teams that you're going to face? Toughness and endurance. We've got to be able to last the whole game. A lot of times we go into the first half playing strong. You know, we go into half most of the times up or leading. And uh, second half we kind of like dialed a little bit. Like during camp, we just got to focus on finishing. That's our biggest thing. During the summer, we said that finish, finish. You're not going to win this conference if you, if you can't finish. So our biggest thing is finishing and playing hard to the, uh, to the whistle blows.